early summer of 1991, I inherited a moustache from my great aunt Sylvia. It sounds like what you've got is a pretty powerful antenna. It's all right, officer. Everything's under control. We're just trying to communicate with beings from another dimension. <laughs> Young man at back, stand up and speak. And then another spirit manifests, and his name is Toby, and he talks like this. And Toby's here to give us ectoplasmic healing, and we come up one at a time, and I'm getting Russia. There's an old soupy proverb, you know, we need stories more than bread. Adrian had a cheese fuel dream that had inspired him to, uh, to create this, the world's smallest theatre, just enough room for three heads. There was, there was Adrian, a uh, fellow actor, Chris Claire Smith, and then an audience of one. Paranoid man in cheap shit hotel room. I was coming up on LSD, and I looked in the fridge, and in the fridge, no food, just, just dead birds. Dead birds he'd been collecting. I'm, I'm waiting um, for the right time to spray them blue and nail them to a lamppost as part of some Brighton installation art project. <laughs> there once was a mouse called Keith, who circumcised boys with his teeth. And I placed my pound coin in the slot between her thighs. Binary code is coming out of my mouth. And it's coming out bright green like in The Exorcist. And you're there on your hands and knees alternating between arse and mouth. And everybody's running around going, it's an attack from the Black Lodge. It's an attack from the Black Lodge. I'd inherited the moustache of the guy who was the host of the freak show. Ladies and gentlemen, the man with no memory, Draco Zahazar. He was a, a great dancer and, and model and performer. And they'd model for Salvador Dali. And the painting he'd model for was Dali's crucifixion of Christ. The vision I'd had on ayahuasca was that painting. And he laid it on top of the moustache. And this is what happened. <laughs> it was an exact fit. Eyebrows and moustaches could be antennae for magic. Uh, hang on, so what you're saying is that the, the purpose of my life is, is light entertainment for the benefit of God. <laughs> <laughs> and then a weird blend comes running through the audience. He's completely naked. He's taking my nudity as a cue for an evening of all in naturism. And he runs towards me and he roughly tackles me. And he pulls me to the ground and we're rumbling around like we're in some weird gay German porn film. <laughs> I know this sounds stupid, but am I being possessed by a moustache? Double on the